they all want to know if you, Don, Jeff, Mick, will ever get together and and do something as as the Dokken. No, in a short uh, a short version of the answer is no. Uh, uh, the reason is for one, Mick has retired, sold his drums, got rid of his drums. He's not a he doesn't play anymore. Maybe he goes and jams here or there, but um, and he's kind of I think for his own mental and physical health, he's just kind of disconnected from the whole world, you know, and we don't, he doesn't return our calls. It's just, that's okay. I think that's probably what he needs needed to do. And I respect that. Uh, it's sad in a way because, you know, we're friends for decades and built something together. We came up together, you know, it was Mick and I before anybody else, before Jeff or Don. So um, yeah, that's, but I would love to still be friends with him, you know, maintain a relationship, but you know, that's all right. Um, but, uh, you know, Jeff has been in, I think, foreign for, I don't know, maybe 15 years. Yeah. Doing very, very well. Keeps him very, very busy. And, um, we do our side things, you know, different, like the end machine, yeah. which we're working on right now. And, um, other projects, the heavy hitters projects, we do that together. We live down the street from each other. So we're always working together. We love each other and we always dream of kind of, doing something else band wise that we can take out on the road and kind of do that whole dock and building the band process again, even at our age, we, we talk about that and hope that we'll be able to do that someday. Um, but doing it in the, in the context of dock and I think that ship has sailed and I said in other interviews because um, we've tried so many times, to put it back together and it's like Humpty Dumpty. Uh, Don's got his thing with, you know, he owns a name. His, his hired gun guys that are great and and he's very happy with that and they've been together for a lot of years and they service the songs and people dig it and if it's not broken why fix it and you know for him to come back into the into a, a, a true band situation where everything's split up equally and he's not the king and he's not getting all the lion's share of the money I think that has something to do with the fact that it probably won't happen you know for Jeff and I, we'd probably do it, but we would do it with Steve Brown, which is Mick's brother, who we use in the End Machine, on the End Machine records. It looks just like Mick, plays just like Mick, the younger version of Mick. So that would work, but I really don't think it's going to happen. And, uh, you know, it's not, I mean, maybe if we were still in our 50s, maybe early 60s, but I'm going to be 69, Don's going to be 70. I mean... I, I do. You, I would want to make sure that if we did that last record, it would be a great bookend to the whole yeah. story. And if it was anything less than that, I don't think it's worth doing because it would be, you know, it's rather to leave people with the the memories of the of the good stuff, like you know, the first four, five albums, whatever they were, and just leave it at that, you know, rather than going for a cash grab. You know? Uh, last couple of questions. Uh, Kate first with a unit on I. She says recently Lynch Mob played a couple of shows on the same bill as Doc. And how is the relationship between you and Don these days? Wonderful. We're old men. We don't care. And we're just having it. We're out there grateful for where we are and we're having fun. And the band sounds great. Don's band sounds great. I go out, you know, Lynch Mob opens up the show. We've been doing this for a few years now. And, and, and uh, so Lynch Mob opens the show. We do our thing, obviously don't play any Dawkins songs. Dawkins comes out, does his thing. And then I come out the end of the night and play three or four songs. And it's all kumbaya and everybody's happy. Yeah.